Welcome to the Feeding Under Fives Public Health Dietitians Group webinar. This webinar contains general nutrition advice and is based on the most up-to-date nutrition guidelines at the time of recording. Speak with your medical professional if you've been given specialised dietary advice or have any individual concerns. My name is Claire Hamilton and I will be delivering this webinar. I am a member of the Public Health Dietitians Group for Northern Ireland and a registered nutritionist. This webinar will cover the importance of good nutrition for one to five year olds, food groups, including why under fives need them in portion sizes, suitable drinks and snacks, and recommendations on vitamin supplements. Children under the age of five have special nutritional requirements as they're growing rapidly and becoming more active. Healthy eating habits are established in early childhood. Therefore, it's important that good nutrition is encouraged at this stage. So why is good nutrition important? Children have a high energy requirement relative to size. Children are growing and developing rapidly, so need lots of energy and nutrients. They also have small tummies and varying appetites. So it's important that nutritious food is given to help meet this. Good nutrition is also important for growth and development. Children under five need important nutrients for growth and development, such as protein for growth and repair of body tissues and muscles, iron for support of growth and development, calcium and vitamin D for healthy bones and teeth, and fiber to promote good bile health and prevent against constipation. Good nutrition is also important for oral health, speech development, and social skills. And finally, to help prevent and reduce the risk of disease, such as obesity, type two diabetes, and heart disease. Good nutrition in early childhood is an investment in their future health, as it helps protect and prevent and reduce the risk of dietary related disease and ill health in later years. For good health, children need to eat a wide variety of groups, wide variety of foods from the five main food groups. This model shown on the screen is suitable for children from age two onwards and forms the basis of what we as adults should be eating too, as it's a good idea to encourage the whole family. This model is known as the Eat Well Guide. It's divided into five colored sections these sections show the types of foods and the proportions of these foods that we should be eating. Growing children need plenty of energy from calories and nutrients such as protein, fat, carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals. These needs can be met by including a variety of foods from each of the main food groups. We're going to have a look at each of these now in turn. The first food group is potatoes, bread, rice, pasta, and other starchy carbohydrates. The key nutrients that this group provides are energy, B vitamins, iron from fortified breakfast cereals, and also fiber. This food group contains, contains potatoes, bread, all types of sliced plain loaf or toasted, white, brown, wholemeal, or granary. This group also contains bread such as wheaten, pita pockets, brown muffins, bagels, wraps, rolls, baps, pancakes. This group also contains rice, pasta of all types and shapes, noodles and couscous, cereals such as Weetabix, Ready Break and porridge, and also things like crackers, rice cakes, bread sticks and oat cakes. In terms of how much children need, it's important to include a portion at each meal, using high fiber and moderation to avoid filling their tummies quickly. Children under five have very small tummies, so it's important that we give them a variety of foods. This group also, it also works as good snack options. The following are suggested portion sizes to be offered. Not necessarily the portion a child may eat, 
you may find that they eat more or eat less depending on how their appetite varies. For example, half to one slice of bread, half to one and a half egg sized boiled potatoes, two to five tablespoons of cooked pasta, two to four potato wedges, or half to one pancake. You can increase this portion as needed, and the amount needed may vary between children, and it may even vary from day to day. It's important to be guided by your child's appetite, but also don't let them fill up on these foods alone. The next group we're going to look at is fruit and vegetables. This group provides vitamins, fiber, and iron. For children under five, it is recommended to include a variety. So to try and aim for a rainbow of different colors of fruit and vegetables. You can use fresh, frozen, canned, and dried. These all count. These foods also work well as snacks and included at meal times. But it is important that we don't overcook them. This is to ensure that we don't reduce some of the nutrients. So how many portions do our one to five year olds need? It is important that children have five child sized portions each day. Try to encourage your child to eat a variety of fruit and vegetables. Allow them to enjoy their favorites, but also keep trying those they don't like in small amounts from time to time. Most children need to try new foods several times before they accept them. In terms of portion sizes of fruit and vegetables, half a medium fruit will class as a child size portion. So anywhere from a quarter to one medium banana, a quarter to half a medium pear, or a quarter to half a medium apple. Smaller fruits and berries, such as strawberries, grapes, blueberries, and cherry tomatoes, should all be sliced lengthways to avoid choking. In terms of portion sizes, Half a cup of these small fruits or berries will count towards one of a child's five a day. In terms of vegetables, one tablespoon of cooked veg or chopped raw veg will count towards a five a day. For example, half to two tablespoons of stir fried mixed vegetables, half to two tablespoons of cooked broccoli or cauliflower, two to six carrot sticks, or half to one small bowl of homemade vegetable soup. The next group that we're going to look at is dairy and alternatives. This group includes milk, cheese, yogurts, and their non-dairy alternatives, such as soy milk. The key nutrients that children under five will get from this group are calcium, protein, fat, and vitamins A and D. This group is important for healthy bones and teeth. And it's recommended that full fat products should be consumed from this food group until children are at least two years old. For milk recommendations, children are recommended to consume whole milk from one to two years. If you find that your child is growing and developing normally, semi skimmed milk can be introduced from two years onwards. But it's important not to enter just skimmed milk for any children under the age of five. This looks at the different fat contents. It's important that children under five get enough calories from their diet, which is why whole milk is encouraged from one to two and skimmed milk, which has the least amount of calories and fat should be avoided until at least five years old. If you're using dairy free alternatives, it's important to ensure that they are fortified with calcium and that they're also unsweetened. So how much do children under five need in terms of dairy? It's important that children take two to three portions of dairy or dairy or alternatives every day or 350 to 600 mils of milk per day. Some examples of these child sized portions would be 100 to 120 ml of cow's milk, breast milk, or formula as a drink, one small cheese bowl, one pot 
125 ml of yogurt, or two to four tablespoons of grated cheese. How to get enough. Next are some practical examples of how children can get enough dairy in their diet. Using milk, they can have milk as a drink. It can be used with plain breakfast cereals, used to make milk puddings such as custard or rice pudding, and also in sauces such as cheese sauce. Next, how to get enough cheese. Try adding it to jacket potatoes, with spaghetti, or on toast. Cheese spread can be used as a sandwich filler, or sliced or used on crackers. Cheese portions as a snack, or also used as part of a cheese sauce. The next food group that we're going to be looking at are beans, pulses, fish, egg, meat, and other sources of protein. The key nutrients found from this food group are protein, iron, vitamins, especially B vitamins, and omega-3 fatty acids, which we get from oily fish. This food group contains beef, lamb, pork, chicken or turkey, eggs, nuts and seeds, peas, beans and lentils, vegetarian meat alternatives such as tofu and corn. This group also includes our fish such as salmon, cod, trout, and oily fish options such as tuna, pilchards, tinned sardines, or mackerel. In terms of portion size, Children under five are recommended to have one portion at each main meal throughout the day. It's also recommended to include red meat twice a week and to avoid whole nuts for children under five years as they are a choking hazard. Processed meats, such as burgers, sausages, sausage rolls, are advised no more than once per week. Things like chicken nuggets, sausages, fish fingers, burger meats, sausage rolls all fall into this food group. These foods contain high levels of saturated fat and salt, so are not great options for children under five in terms of reaching their nutrition. Some examples of portion sizes for our protein foods are two to four tablespoons of baked beans, two to four tablespoons of cooked mincemeat, for example, in a bolognese sauce, half to one boiled egg, or half to two small slices of chicken or turkey. The last key food group that we're going to look at is oils and spreads. This group provides energy, fat soluble vitamins such as A, D and E, essential fatty acids, and it is recommended to use full fat spreads or butter for children under five. It's also recommended that for cooking, the best options are unsaturated oils such as rapeseed or olive oil. Getting enough healthy fats is essential for young children to help their brain and nervous systems develop normally. Finally, looking at the group of foods that sit outside of the Eat Well Guides, that means foods that are not needed for a healthy, well-balanced diet and don't contribute to growth and development. These are takeaway foods, confectionery foods such as cookies, muffins, donuts, crisps, fizzy drinks, chocolate such as sweet chocolatey cereals, ice creams, sweets, jelly sweets, bars of chocolate, sauces such as tomato ketchup, jams, all fall within this food group. These foods are energy dense, which means that they contain a lot of calories, which come mainly from sugar and saturated fats, but contain very little other beneficial nutrients. These foods don't make good snacks and are best avoided. If they are given, it's recommended to give only in small amounts and not very often. For children under five, we should try to limit sweet foods and avoid high sugar drinks. These can lead to tooth decay through their high sugar content. Next, moving on to tackling treats. 
treat foods that are high, treat foods are foods that are high in sugar, fat, and salt, such as crisps, biscuits, and chocolates. About a fifth of the calories that children currently eat come from treat foods. And Safe Foods New Start campaign encourages parents to give treats in moderation, to try and keep treats small and not to give every day. Now looking at snack ideas. Snacks are important for children because their tummies are small and they're burning energy so quickly, so snacks can provide a real boost and some extra nutrients. Try using the principles of the Eat Well Guide when offering snacks, such as starchy carbohydrates, fruits and vegetables, or even some dairy are great options. Examples such as pancake and sliced banana, sandwiches with a variety of fillings, for example, cheese, tuna, or even egg, rice cakes and peanut butter, vegetable dunkers and hummus, or plain yogurt with some fruit are great options. It's best to try and prepare your own snacks as it's a great opportunity to offer additional energy and nutrients. For children under five, breast milk, milk, or water are the only recommended drinks, with all drinks other than breast milk being given from a cup. This encourages speech development and promotes good dental health. Children are recommended to drink approximately 350 ml of milk daily, or six to eight cups or beakers of fluid, which includes milk. If you're using pure fruit juice, it should be well diluted, for example, one part juice to 10 parts water and given at meal times only. Tea and coffee are not suitable to give to children under five due to the caffeine content and also the presence of tannins in tea, a byproduct which slows iron absorption. Remember, iron is vital in the growth and development of children under five. Fizzy drinks, squashes and diet drinks are also not suitable for children under five as they can have a negative effect on their dental health. Next, we're going to look at vitamin supplements. Giving your child a wide variety of foods from the five main food groups outlined will help to ensure that your child gets all the vitamins needed for healthy growth and development. It is advised that all children at this age should also be given a supplement of vitamins A, C and D, which should be continued until they are at least five years old. Vitamin D in particular is difficult to get from food alone. It's essential for calcium absorption, which in turn is important for strong bones and teeth. The main source of vitamin D is the sunlight, which is why it's difficult to get from food sources alone. One to five year olds should be given a daily supplement of vitamins A, C and D. It's advised that you ask your pharmacist should you need advice choosing a suitable supplement for your child. The Healthy Start Scheme is a means tested scheme offering vouchers for free milk, fruit and veg, and vitamins for you and your family. You're entitled to Healthy Start vouchers and free vitamins if you have children under four years and receive benefits, if you are pregnant and on benefits, if you are pregnant and under 18. It's advised to speak to your GP or health visitor if you would like further information on this scheme. Finally, for more information on feeding under fives, check out the Public Health Agency's Getting a Good Start publication. You will find this at the website detailed on screen. For further information on food groups and portion sizes, check out the British Nutrition Foundation's 5532 portion guide at the website shown on screen. For more information on tackling treats and healthy snacking examples, visit Safe Foods Start campaign at the website shown on screen. And finally, always ensure that you're looking at evidence-based 
scientific nutrition information that you can trust. The logos shown are credible, trustworthy sources of nutrition information. Try checking out the British Dietetic Association, the NHS website, Safe Food, Safe Food Start Campaign, NHS Better Health, Healthier Families, the British Heart Foundation, or Choose to Live Better for more nutrition information and resources. If you would like more nutrition information on other topics or would like to view some short recipe videos, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? Search for Public Health Dietitians on YouTube for a host of new webinars and videos. Thank you for listening.